right. I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. We come to you live today from the Mia Prefecture in the south of Japan's Honshu Island for a race that has seen many title deciders over the years. Some simple, some controversial, but all contributing to a legacy that makes the Japanese Grand Prix an indispensable stop in any Formula One season. 18 corners make up a lap of the incredible figure of eight Suzuka circuit with 10 to the right and eight to the left for a distance of 3.6 miles. Average lap speeds around here are fairly quick. If it stays dry, then expect somewhere in the region of 136 miles per hour. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? Well, the throttle goes both ways, Crofty. You've got to have the discipline not to try and win the race on the first lap. So always be prepared to lift early and give those around you more space. Trying to be the last of the late breakers with half a dozen cars around you may pay off from time to time, but it's also a great way to lose your front wing. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. The Golden Girl lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Perez, Bottas, Charles Leclerc and Hamilton, Norris, Ricardo. Fernando Alonso and Pierre Gasly, Ocon, Sonoda, Sebastian Vettel and Mick Schumacher, Raikkonen, Stroll, Nicholas Latifi and Antonio Giovinazzi, Mazepin and George Russell ends our grid lineup. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. taking care of them.
fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Point zero seconds. They're on fresh softs. This is your final lap, final lap of the race.
awesome driving today. That's four race wins in a row. Ferrari have really pulled it out of the bag today. It's a great win. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Ferrari are at it again, an excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. The Golden Girl increases their championship lead. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I have to give it to the Golden Girl. They demonstrated a very delicate touch in close proximity to other cars, as well as showing a lot of maturity and patience in difficult situations. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Ferrari continue to extend the gap at the top of the table. Meanwhile, Alpine move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One.